Hi beautiful souls. This is going to be a general read for March. Okay. Hmm. Don't mind my bed. I made it. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see what the energy of March holds for us. I have my love decks here just in case love comes out, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and create some sacred space for us. Take some deep breaths with me. And I ask that Archangel Michael protect this space for us as I tune into the energy for the collective for March. My body here because I wish there was a way that I could fix this so that y'all could see my tarot table and also see me because I really miss connecting with y'all this way, but yeah. I still miss y'all seeing my tarot table too, so. Ooh. <laughs> I'm struggling today, y'all. What the hell is going on? I don't know what's going on. These cards don't want to shuffle. Let me try again. Many hands. What do we have for the collective for March? Okay. Collective for March. I'm going to put this close to me so I have somewhere to put my cards. Collective for March. I miss connecting with y'all like this. Ooh. All right. So we have the energy of collaborations working together. We have strength, Leo energy. So we've had to be really, really strong, right? We've had to be really, really strong to get through these energies. What is going on with my bra and my shirt here? We've had to be really, really strong to get through these energies right now that's going through the collective. It's a lot, right? One second. Okay, I just had to change the camera angle because I didn't like that angle. And I'm wearing my pajama pants, so don't judge me. I had other pants on, but I want to be comfortable now. It's almost 8 o'clock at night here, so. Alright, so we've had to be really, really strong. The energies have been shifting so quickly. You're definitely not alone in feeling like that. Five of Pentacles. So some of you right now are feeling like <clears throat> your ships are never going to come in. Nothing's going to shift. The energy's, you know, just staying the same. You're feeling like it's all the same old, same old. Some of you are feeling left out. Don't compare yourself to other people, okay? High Priestess. Wow. Your intuition is guiding you, however, to your highest path. So, stay resilient, okay? Continue to follow your intuition. It's going to open some more doors for you. And then there's your Ten of Cups, right? Okay? So, the energy might feel like it's stagnant right now. You might look around and nothing's really shifted in your reality. But... If you use your intuition, then you're going to find that um, it's going to lead you to opportunities for more happiness in your life. Okay, I know you've been through a lot and you've had to be so, so strong. But anything that you do right now, as far as working with others, um, it's going to be very successful. Look, see, I just, I told you, 
the cycles are closing are closing um, off. Okay, so we have two tens here. We have the ten of cups and the wheel. So whatever cycle you've been going through, where you know there's this period of feeling like nothing is really shifting and everything's sort of stagnant, is ending. Okay, the the wheel is about things moving. It's about you know fate. Um, it's about fate moving in your favor. Okay. There's also this energy of luck. I keep seeing 7-Eleven. And I've literally been seeing 7-Eleven too. So there's this energy of luck, right? Um, some of you are entering like a really, really lucky period right now. Roll the dice. Take a chance. Six of swords. Letting go of your past, moving forward, trusting yourself. For some of you, there's going to be a message coming in as well, okay? A lot of you are finding um, the things that set your soul on fire. You're finding your joy. Follow that bliss. Four of Pentacles. You're finding balance within yourself. Be careful of being in the scarcity mindset. The more that you open yourself and your energy <clears throat> up to receive, and ironically, the more you give your energy, um, not your energy. Well, it, it can be your energy, like an energy exchange. But the more that you give, um, the more you can open yourself up to receive. So this is about whether it's, you know, energy exchange, like giving away your gifts or, you know, giving away literal like 3D money. This is going to open you up to receive from the universe, okay? We have the moon. So some of you are still holding on to some subconscious beliefs about money. All right. Um, there's lots of things that you can do to get rid of those limiting beliefs. You can go on YouTube. That's what I do. Um, I use subliminals and affirmations um, to get rid of my limiting beliefs around money and just, you know, in general um, to get rid of limiting beliefs. Okay. Get two more cards, then we're going to wrap this reading up. We have Page of Cups. So this could be a possible love offer. I don't know. This is the one Pigs Fly card. Knight of Pentacles. See, we have Page of Cups. There's a pig here, so it's the energy of like when pigs fly. One second. Okay, so there's this energy of like when pigs fly. So, um, if you've been waiting on communication from someone, I see it coming in in the most <laughs> crazy, unexpected way. <laughs> and I keep hearing that saying, when pigs fly, when pigs fly. And it's funny because I feel like you didn't expect communication from this person. I don't know if it's, it's romantic or not. Um, it, it feels romantic though. There's a heart here with like a rainbow. Um, this person... You'll know because they've been really slow to come forward and communicate with you. Um, they've just been busy, um, you know, with work and trying to make up their mind about something about you. Oh, yeah. See, they've been busy with work. Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like they've been slowly trying to create something i keep hearing trying to create something for themselves which they probably should have communicated that to you but you know not everyone communicates the same the hierophant
And the King of Swords. So this person that's coming in, they may have been in the past. Um, ooh. All right. So there's something about your future. It's like I keep hearing I'm envisioning a future. So this person may, you might know who this person is because they may have come across as like sort of cold. Right? We have the King of Swords. So they were overthinking things. They were really logical. They were in their head about it. Instead of just telling you that they were overthinking things, they were just overthinking things. Right? But this whole entire time, they were planning a future. Okay? And I keep hearing I was planning a future for us. You see, we have two of wands. Um, it may have taken a minute for this person to come to a decision because I feel like when it comes to communication and, and love and things like this, um, I basically heard love is out of their comfort zone. So, you know, though, though they have really good intentions with the Hierophant, this shows me commitment, right? They knew what they wanted, but they were overthinking things instead of just saying, Hey, um, I'm working really hard to create something for myself so that I, when I come and approach you, I can feel more stable and ready for this relationship, commitment, whatever. Um, for whatever reason, they didn't do that because it, it felt very out of their comfort zone. So they're not used to communicating openly like that. They've probably never been in love. I don't know. So that's the energy that's coming out. Um, I guess we can get, let's see, uh, pas de mm -hmm. All right, so why don't we pull a love oracle card and let's see. I don't want this reading to be super long. Astrology reading card and then a star. Ooh, ooh, look what came out right away. Faded meeting. So you guys were meant to meet. This was something that was meant to happen, right? It's just, it feels like the timing was off maybe. What else? And there was a lot of unfinished business. So both of you had some loose ends to tie up, but seems like the timing is right now. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get some more cards. All right. What else do we need to know? Curly hair. So that could be a possible trait of your person. If you're thinking of your person and they have curly hair, then you'll know that there's your confirmation. And we have the answer is not right now, but soon. I told you. So spirit is lining up things for you and this person. Okay. It's not going to happen right away, but it's going to happen. Okay. Trust in your path. All right. Trust that when you're ready and when you decide that you are ready, it's going to come in. Okay. All right. We're going to pull one more card from the astrology reading cards. And then we're going to be done. All right. Happy March, by the way, guys. I'm excited because I finally sold my other car. <laughs> Yay! Celebration! Okay, whoever this reading is for, they find it. We have Libra. So it says, the energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. So... You could be dealing with a Libra sign, um, or they could just be very 
<clears throat> they don't necessarily have to be a Libra. They could have Libra in their chart somewhere. Um, sorry about any background noise. Either way, um, balance is very important to this person. This could have been why they took such a long time to come forward. Maybe they were trying to balance things in their life. And we have first house, what people see and the impression you give. See, so they were worried about making the right impression on you. So this person might um, be someone that when they, when they come and approach you with this love offer, they really want to make an impression on you. They want you to remember um, their approach. They're taking time to um, to think about their approach. So they may be an overthinker, and that's why um, it took them so long to come forward because they are probably overthinking their approach. They want it to be special. They want it to be special when they come forward and say, hey, this is what I'm feeling and this is what I want to do about it, right? All right, so I hope this um, reading resonated with someone. If it did, please leave me a comment and let me know. I love you guys. Mwah! <laughs>